Hey, and welcome. In this tutorial we are going to talk about GJet, where to find it and how to set it up. But first, what is GJet? GJet is the new object and materials property editor for Gmotor 2 based applications. GJet allows for real-time editing of Gmotor 2 content created in any content editor which can export the FBX file format. Content creators are no longer tied to a single platform, like 3ds Max. GJet can also open existing tracks with the scene file. Therefore GJet is a great tool to revamp your existing track and fine-tune materials. Editing and adjusting materials are done in real-time, so you can see what you are doing. GJet is a real-time DirectX application built using the same engine and shaders as R Factor 2, and therefore has most of the same graphical options as R Factor 2. Much of the operation of GJet is similar to that of the latest Gmotor 2 plugins for 3ds Max. Where do you find this application? The GJet application is built in your R Factor 2 install. You can find the application in the Steam Apps, Common, R Factor 2, Support, Tools, folder. If you want to use GJet often, I recommend to create a shortcut to your desktop. At first launch GJet will pop up the setup menu first. These are the same settings as in R Factor 2. To view and edit your track, I recommend using the maximum settings, so you can evaluate performance with the FPS counter. An important step is to refer to the Gmotor shaders. Without the shaders GJet will not open your track correctly or it will crash. Refer to the G Motor Shader Path of Dev Mode. The shaders are located in the Steam Apps, Common, R Factor 2, Mod Dev, Shared, folder. If everything is set up, click on Accept. By default, GJet will use a 1360x768 resolution. It is best to resize the window without a loaded track, so this is a good time to set the GJet resolution to your liking. I just click on the Maximize Window button. So it makes use of the maximum resolution my screen can handle. If you click on the gear icon GJet will pop up the setup window and you will see the new resolution is filled in. Click on Accept, and close GJet. Reopen GJet and check the settings again. Click on Accept and GJet will open with the new resolution. You are now ready to open your track or car with GJet. Have fun.